Where exactly are black holes in space? Can I track one like I'd track a plane on a map? Yes. With caveats. Split-screen montage showing icons labeling different galaxy type. There are two main kinds we talk about. First, the heavyweights, supermassive black holes. Almost every big galaxy has one parked at its center. Ours is Sagittarius A-star. It's about 4 million suns, sitting 26,000 light-years away toward the constellation Sagittarius. We nailed its location by watching nearby stars whip around an invisible point and by imagining that glowing donut of hot gas with the Event Horizon Telescope. In galactic coordinates, it's basically the Milky Way's origin pin. Astronomers publish RA deck down to milliard seconds, a cosmic street address, so the central black hole, fixed, like the city center. Then there are stellar mass black holes, remnants of massive stars. They're scattered across the Milky Way's disk, thousands to possibly hundreds of millions. We can't see them directly, but we catch their effects. Some feed on companion stars and light up in X-rays, like Cygnus X1, about 6,000 light-years. Others reveal themselves by tugging on a visible star. Gaia, BH1, roughly 1,560 light-years. Some bend starlight as they pass in front. Microlensing found an isolated one around 5,000 light-years. So, can I track their exact location? Exact in astronomy means precision with error bars. We give RA deck and a distance estimate with uncertainty. For Sagittarius A star, stellar orbits give incredible precision. For nearby stellar black holes, missions like Gaia refine positions so we can predict future locations. But there are three catches. Light time. The position we see is old news. SGRA tonight is where it was 26,000 years ago, because that's how long its light took to reach us. Proper motion. Stellar black holes orbit the Milky Way and drift across the sky. We can predict their path, but it's a moving target. Uncertainty. Isolated black holes are dark. If they aren't eating, they're quiet, and we only infer positions when they lens or tug on something. That means fewer sightings and bigger error bars. What about collisions in gravitational wave alerts? Those are pings in spacetime. We initially get huge sky regions, sometimes hundreds of square degrees, then narrow them with more detectors. It's a thunderclap over a mountain range, not the lightning hit that tree. Sagittarius A, center of the Milky Way, $26,000 lie, precisely tracked. M87, in galaxy M87, 55 million LI, imaged by EHT, Cygnus X1, sector 6000 LI, a classic X-ray binary, Gaia BH1, 1560 LI, nearest known, 